Welcome to the Hello World tier list, where I'll be ranking how you write Hello World in different programming languages. The rankings will be based off of objective criteria, and as such, all rankings are objectively correct. These criteria include my own personal feelings. Let's jump right into it. The first language we'll be looking at is C++. Now to be honest, C++ scares me. What are these colons? What's going on here? Why do I need to return zero when I'm just trying to print hello world? And why is it trying to give me an STD? For all of these reasons, I'm giving C++ a D. Next up, we have C. While there are some similarities to C++, like having to return zero, and that it's still trying to give me an STD, the print line itself is much simpler, and for that, I'll give C a C. Finishing off the three C languages, we have C Sharp. There's so much boilerplate here, it burnt the damn code. I'm giving C Sharp a D. Moving on from a language with all of the boilerplate code to one with none, we have Python. It's short, it's easy to remember, doesn't have any unnecessary code. And for that, Python is going to get an A. Next up, we have uh, HTML. This one uh, isn't a programming language, so uh, I guess we can just put it down here in the not a programming language tier. Moving back to programming languages, we have, nope, that uh, that's CSS which is uh, even less of a programming language. We'll just put that one down here with the uh, HTML. All right, can we please get back to like programming languages now? Oh, well, I uh, guess I got what I asked for, JavaScript. I'm just gonna put that down here in the JavaScript tier below everything else and move on. Next up, we have a real programming language. That's right, Brainfuck, the king of esoteric programming languages. Yes, this is real, and yes, this does print Hello World. I'll give Brainfuck a B, since it's infamous, but doesn't really function as a usable programming language. Next up, we have Java, which is pretty much just C Sharp again. And just like C Sharp, I'll be giving Java a D. Get your boilerplate code out of my face. Let's move on to Go, and maybe we can go figure out what an FMT is and why I need to import it. I'm Go going to give Go a C. Let's quick fire a few of these shorter ones. Kotlin and Rust both get a B. PHP is nice and short, so it gets an A. Swift and Perl both also get an A but let's stop messing around. I know you've been looking at that S tier spot, wondering what language is going to get it. Well, I've saved that spot for a very special language, what might possibly be the best programming language of all time. No more stalling, no more beating around the bush. Here it is. The S tier hello world is... That's right, baby, it's Scratch. Nothing can compare to the ultimate programming language of all time. You don't have to remember how to type. You don't need to worry about syntax, which sounds like some sort of medication. You've just got colorful blocks. Thank you for watching the Hello World tier list. Remember, if you disagree with any of these rankings, I don't care, because they are objectively correct. I'll see you in the next video, and here are some outtakes. This one isn't a programming language. <clears throat> JavaScript, Java, Java, dude. Moving on from a programming language with all the pro, with, moving on from a program, moving on from a language. Stop, stop recording. Stop, stop, stop recording.